For years, pacemakers have been used to keep hearts beating at a predictable rate. New tonight, News Channel 5's Kay Quinn is live at St. Louis Children's Hospital where the first breathing pacemaker in our region was implanted in a seven-year-old girl. Kay? Mike, the hope is that seven-year-old Phoenix Weaver may soon be able to spend long periods of time free of her ventilator for the first time in years. Are you excited about getting rid of the vent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A car accident three years ago near her home in Nixon, Missouri, left seven-year-old Phoenix Weaver unable to use her arms, legs, or even breathe on her own. But now there's hope she will one day soon breathe without the help of a ventilator, at least during the day. We're all about anything that can better things for her, and, and she's always kind of been a little bit of a trailblazer, so, <laughs> so we're not stopping her. What Phoenix's family is pinning their hopes on is something called a breathing pacemaker. A breathing pacemaker works by stimulating the nerve that goes to the diaphragm, which is the muscle involved with breathing. Because Phoenix's nerves are still intact, yet no longer send messages to her diaphragm, she's a perfect candidate for the device that's attached to those nerves in her chest. But it's this computer on the outside and these electrodes worn against the skin that actually tell the pacemaker how slow or fast Phoenix should breathe. Just like a pacemaker makes hearts beat at regular intervals. Any amount that we can get off the vent is, is great. Um, for her to be able to go to school without the hoses attached and having to drag those around and anything to more independence. Phoenix is still trying to get used to the device and would still use the ventilator at night, but during the day, her ventilator is turned off for longer periods to get her diaphragm used to working again. So far, so good. Phoenix is at a rehab facility right now where she's testing her ability to use that breathing pacemaker. And right now, Mike, she's able to go for about five hour stretches at a time without using that ventilator.